an easy way to make iced coffee. So if you have a fully automatic espresso coffee machine, you want to start by making two half cups of strong coffee. All right, so you got the half cup as opposed to the large and the espresso shot and then three degrees of coffee strength. So two half cups of strong coffee. <laughs> This is pretty cool. I lucked out and a friend gave me this machine. The grinder and the water well all inside this contraption. You can get regular coffee or espresso. You have the heating wand or the steam wand here for water or well to steam milk and to dispense hot water. So we'll go another half cup. You also need four strong shots. So I've already pressed the button. I'm on the espresso and I'm at strong. We'll do this four times. In this double insulated cup that you can use for cold or hot water, you know, Yeti, Ozark, what have you, even the Sam's Club brand works. I've got three quarter cups of ice. Then I'm going to add these two half cups of strong coffee. And remember that was four shots of a strong espresso. These are one ounce shots. This particular machine you can program to have one, one and a half, or two ounce shots. And then a half cup of your favorite creamer. For me, we use counterculture beans that the machine grinds and the Almond Joy creamer. It's delicious. I haven't found a better combination. And this machine really makes such good coffee, you know, using the beans we have. So you can use your favorite beans but that combination works for us. We were just on Guam and there was a kiosk near the Jigo Palace. I wanna say it's Island Chick. Anyways, they served up probably one of the better tasting cold brews I've had. So cold brew is a slightly different method of making cold coffee or iced coffee, but at any rate, they used milk and whatever their beans were. It was delicious, so. Stir this up, and there you've got iced coffee. Now, if you have more time to plan, you can certainly make cold brew. Pour that cold brew into ice cubes, so then you'd have coffee-flavored ice, and, and when this melts, it won't dilute your coffee, but because the Yeti will hold the coldness for a while, and we use really strong coffee, this particular mix and recipe works very well. If you had more time, you could, you know, steep coffee grounds for 24 hours and freeze that and then, you know, use the cold brew, press the frozen ice, frozen cold brew to make your iced coffee, but this worked and it only took a few minutes. <laughs> 